Good morning, guys. Doing another sanctuary vlog. Coming over to feed the goats and the pigs right now. Hi, guys. So I had somebody asking, how do you know when Petunia is being aggressive? So that right there. Okay, so you see this posturing, this sideways towards me, that orienting right there. And then the face that she's making and the chomping. And then being pushy like this. Like that's all very aggressive behavior. Um, it's not that bad right now. You know, not like full charge or anything like that. But that right there too. So that's like a scent marking thing. That's all aggressive behavior. Julie! Hi, Julie. I was trying to do a serious bit when Julie came over. Hi. Hi. Mean crazy? You hear that like bark sound Petunia's making too? That's that's all aggressive stuff. Hi, Daisy. Daisy. Can you sit? Can you sit, Daisy? Good sit, Daisy. Good girl. Oh, there's good girl. Good girl, Daisy. See, the mohawk is up, getting all sideways. Petunia, sit. You sit. Good, Petunia. There you go. You quit trying to fight me. You quit trying to fight me. Hi, Daisy. See that foam too? So that's part of it too. Julie! Oh, there's a big sweet girl. And Kit Kat over there with her three legs. So if you haven't seen Kit Kat before, she's our three legged goat. And uh, before we got her, she was uh, attacked by a dog. And uh, yeah, she ended up having to have one of her legs amputated, which uh, we actually paid for before we even got her. But she's doing pretty good now. She gets around. And then um, somebody also asked, you know, what kind of pigs are these? So uh, Petunia and Daisy are both Vietnamese potbelly pigs. And then we think that Julie is a mix. Uh, we're not too sure exactly. Julie! Happy girl. Happy girl. And we got uh, Petunia when uh, she was actually found on this side of the road, just uh, not doing good. She was a dumped pet. And well, he, Petunia's a dude. Um, I always get this mixed up. So Petunia is a male pig. And uh, when we first got him dumped on the side of the road, um, Gabby mistook the neuter scar for the vagina. <laughs> it was the first pig, I guess she's, you know, been around, whatever. So, um, because of that, uh, Gabby kept on calling Petunia a girl and then it just kind of stuck and then we kept on saying it. And then we found out Petunia is actually a boy and is, uh, was cryptorchid, which means that a testicle is actually retained inside. And so if you guys saw the video we did on that, we had to go and do a whole neuter and all this crazy stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff. So got a whole video on that if you want to go back and Look at all that stuff, but yeah, so that's all that. But anyway, so Petunia was dumped on the side of the road and was uh, pretty skinny, not doing good. And um, yeah, was probably going to die. Unfortunately, uh, this isn't an area where uh, lots of pets get dumped on the side of the road. I've done videos catching guinea pigs at this spot too, where people dump them. Uh, guys, do not dump your pets. I can't stress it enough that almost all dumped pets die and they die a very sad horrific death and if they don't die they become an invasive species and end up killing native animals so either way it's bad all the way around so now i'm over here checking on the uh, tortoise enclosure so there's our big yellowfoot tortoise right there we got a bunch of the other ones hanging out all around there's tortellini right there a couple more in the corner over here so it's a nice beautiful day and they're all just walking around getting some sunshine you being so cuddly, yeah. You cuddly girl. Oh, she's so sweet. Always sniffing. You happy skunk? Yeah. You a happy skunk? Hi, Glow. Hi, Chloe. Chloe. Hi, huh, baby girl. <laughs> Hi, Chloe. Oh, this sweet baby girl. You talking? Hi, Chloe. Oh, hi, Chloe, Chloe. 
Look at all that pretty orange you got in there. Look at all that pretty orange you got in there. So Chloe is a Solomon's cockatoo, also called a dew corpse. Oh, this pretty girl. And she came to the rescue after, sadly, being stuck in a garage for years with full of cigarette smoke because she screams a lot. Oh, there you go, Sami. What do you think? You got green beans, cantaloupe, sprouts, pepper, blueberry, and I think omnivore diet. What do you think? Freeze-dried. Oh, freeze-dried turkey? Yeah. I stand corrected. No, you're not gonna get the pepper first. You don't want that? Nope, she got the turkey. Freeze dried turkey first. So, she's so funny though. I mean, I, I comment this almost every single time, but it's just so funny how she's more interested in sniffing things than eating things. This chunk skunk. Look at that tail. And now she gets the pepper. There you go, Jet. So Jet is feeling a lot better. If you saw yesterday's video, we talked about how, um, he didn't have much of an appetite and he's being a little funny because he is constipated. Uh, he is a desert animal that doesn't really drink water on his own. And so even though he has water, and so because of that, he's very prone to constipation. Oh, and Clover spooked him right there. But now he's eating fine on his own. So we gave him a bunch of uh, laxatone and then his food today has Miralax on it. And he has canned pumpkin in there, which will also uh, help him out in that department, you know? So um, he should be okay. Uh, we went ahead and canceled the vet appointment today because he's acting totally fine and normal. So I think he's gonna be all right. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and feed the foxes. You see they're crazy. Hazel. Here, Hazel. There you go. There you go. Should we feed her in the log? Oh, in the log? Yeah, I've done it before, and that way she can't see and she won't be as crazy, maybe. She'll feel safer. Okay. Yeah. You try it. Hazel's eating her log. That's good. Here is almost done. I'm just afraid they're going to steal it from me. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and feed the coatis. Hi, guys. So for them, we have uh, drumsticks, banana, cantaloupe, monkey biscuit, grape, omnivore diet, applesauce, and baby food. I think that's a new record. Pretty quick. 20 seconds. That was like the fastest ever.
Yeah, well, it's just Lily, really. I mean, <laughs> the new record only applies to Lily. Everyone else, that's normal speed. So what is the plan for today? Well, um, we should spread the mulch. We got those bags of mulch over there. Where? In here? Um, we can put some in here, but I mean, it definitely needs some. It's for the I mean, fox enclosure, though. I know. I mean, we can get more, I guess. The quaddies just go through mulch really quickly. I don't know how. So weird. I don't know where it all goes. And then we'll check on the prairie dogs. Yep. Feed them, feed the parakeets. And I want to go car shopping again. Yeah, we really do need to do that. Because that has not been working out, and we really desperately need it. Yeah. When are we scrubbing this again? This is looking pretty dirty, huh? Yeah, it's definitely good for a scrub down. All right, so we decided to just go ahead and do the deep cleaning anyways. We're here. So right now I'm spraying everything down with a bleach water mixture. So I'm gonna spray all this and then let it sit, soak in a little bit and then scrub it down. All that good coming off. What do you guys think? All nice and clean? You approve, Lily? Hi, Lola. Hi, Lola. Oh, this nose bear. Oh, this nose bear. Hello. Hi, Lily. Oh, your poop is gone. Where did it go? Where did it go? Hi, Jelly Bean. Oh, got your blueberry. You got your blueberries. Now we're happy. Now we're happy. I have blueberries for you. There you go. So now that we got the tarps down, we got a deep clean in here. I want to get in here with the power washer. You saw the fruit on the wall. So all that stuff over there on the wall is uh, not dirt. It is fruit because uh, if you saw in the, I think it was yesterday's video, I talked about how they do have a serrated beak and they use that for ripping and tearing. And the way that they eat their food is they just grab it and shake it. And so they spread fruit pulp everywhere. Especially, uh, that was amazing when Jelly Bean lived in the house with us before we got the property. So there's just fruit pulp all over the walls everywhere. Yeah, from you. You enjoying your food, Bluebird? Yeah. You enjoying your food? Rocky! Oh, hi, Rocky. You got some sweet potato on your beak. Are you eating some sweet potato? No. Hi, Rocky. Olaf is sitting over here like, um, hello, I'm waiting. Gotta wait your turn, dude. Rocky wants some lovin's. Hi, Olaf. Can you come here? There you go. I'll be your bridge. There you go.
All right, so now we're in here with the prairie dogs. There's your food, Poppy. Oh, hi, Poppy. Hi, baby. Poppy's the sweetest one. So as you can see, they just demolished everything we built. <laughs> as I kind of knew they would. Here's Big Harv. What are you doing, Harv? Well, look at Poppy. Oh, he's being so sweet. Oh, he's being so sweet, Poppy. I'm a good boy, Poppy. Here, you want monkey biscuit, Harv? There you go. You guys are... She's gonna go sweet, Harv. She's gonna try. Oh, she took it. <laughs> you guys are covered in dirt. You've been hard digging away. We gotta get some hay and some fresh water. Yeah. The problem is, I don't think they know how to use a water bottle. <laughs> and then they just throw their sand in the bowl. Here, there's some food, Poppy. Look, Poppy. You want that? Poppy just wants pets. He doesn't even care about the food. Poppy just wants pets. He's so sweet. He's the sweetest little baby, Poppy. These guys look so good with the tarps down, even though it's a kind of cloudy day today, but. You guys know there's like two other feeding bowls, right? Being all crazy over there. Feeding bowl over there, no birds on it. You guys are all being crazy over here. There's a little one. Oh, bye. So these are the only two that are friendly. We got Candy and Tango. Candy <laughs> demands head scratches. Candy likes being scratched. You, can, you still can't pet Tango, but I mean, these are the only two in the whole group that you can actually do anything with. I put that as the idea of this aviary is to provide a home for the little budgies and cockatiels that are not friendly and uh, people don't want as pets and all that kind of thing, you know, so. Some of them were sent to us just for a better life, honestly, you know. You chewing on me. But yeah, a lot of them just aren't hand tame. They're so cute. There's Maui. Maui has a name too. And Maui's friends with that other unfriendly cockatiel. So they're they're best friends. They're really cute. They're so cute. He is the cutest creature I think I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. He keeps on like crawling underneath me, pecking at my boots. So it's so hard to get a good video of him. And by the way, the red patch on his back, that is just uh, coloring. It was there before we got him. So I guess it was just coloring on him to uh, keep them separated or, you know, so you can tell them apart. You looking around? Why don't you go run? Go run. Quit eating random stuff. Go. Oh, be careful. It's getting the zoomies. I missed the, the best part of the zoomies, but he's just racing around and then just totally slipped. 
So we try to get him outside and let him run around. He's, he's still staying inside most of the time. Uh, we just don't want him picked off. There was a, a bald eagle flying over the property earlier today, actually. Um, he's just always so close. I can't focus, and then he runs away, and then I'm trying to get the camera on him again. But, um, but yeah, so we don't want him outside, unsupervised, getting picked off by an eagle or something like that. But anyways, um, indoors... Oh, he's chasing a bug. Uh, important is that uh, on slippery surface like tile or something, you saw how he just fell. Oop, and down again he goes. Uh, they will <laughs> they will fall down on tile though, and very sadly they can break their leg, and then they there's no going back from it. They have to be euthanized. So um, sorry to take a really cute moment and make it depressing. Oh look at the zoomies. But um, but yeah, just in case anybody out there ever has a baby emu, you want to be super super careful if they are indoors on tile or something slick like that. Because I learned this when we first got them, and just wanted to share that just in case. You go, buddy. All right, so now we're doing the night check. So walking around, checking on everybody. Hi, Jet. You see Jet? Over there, there's little glowing eyeballs. Hi, Jet. Hi, baby. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Hi, Sami. Hello, girl. Hello, little girl. How you doing? Hmm? How you doing? Sami's good. Jet's good. Looks like the Kawadis are all asleep in their boxes. And then I see fox eyes looking at me over here. They all look good. Looks like all three of them up on the platform right now. Hey guys. Do they all look good and happy? Hi, Olaf. Can you come inside? There you go. Oh, there's a good boy. Hi, baby. Can you come inside and get your meds? All right, so we got Olaf bringing him in. Gonna give him his meds and all go to bed. So, we're gonna end this video. Thanks for watching, guys.